Welcome to the homework for Grade 1, Module 1, Lesson 10. Write your name first. Make sure you get that taken care of right in the beginning. Number 1. Use your five group cards to solve. Now, uh, I'm going to uh, hold on a second. I'll show you a picture of the five group cards so you can see what they look like. Five group cards look like this. They're groups of cards in five group rows. Now this picture of the five group cards, this is a cutout, this is from all the way back in lesson five. So you can see the cards have the dots in five group rows and so that they make they make ten frames like this guy here in the middle. They make ten frames. Now on the other side, if, you, if you're going to print them out, they have the numbers. So like in here you have a zero and a one and a two and a three. So here you have you know, on the other side, it goes backwards, 0, 1, 2, and 3. But that's what the five group cards look like. Now, I'll just hold on a second, and I'll go back to what the uh, homework page. And now we're back to the homework page. So uh, if you don't have the five group cards uh, at home, uh, you don't have to have them. You can use the pictures. That's what they're, here, that's what they're on the page for. Uh, so if you have them at school or you just don't have them, we lost them. Doesn't matter. You don't. You can do it without the five group cards. But I just wanted to show you that picture so you know what they were. Uh, if, if you weren't sure, so we can just use this picture to solve this. So here we have what. Um, there's our. We have two add ends, right? Because we're adding, and it's going to equal a total. Right? There's our total. So we've got. Small, five, small smiley faces, one, two, three, four, five of those. And then we add three big smiley faces and count them all. The total is eight. Five plus three equals eight. So now on this side here, it says draw the other five group card to show what you did. So we've got the, the first one is the number five. And then it would be the one two, three more. So five, six, seven, eight. That would be the other five group card. And now this one also says use your five group cards to solve. We've got a four here, right? That's going to be our first add-in. But be careful, that's an equal sign, right? We can't put the four here. Let me erase that. Can't put the four there because the total has to go there. Four is going to be one of the add-ins one of the parts here. And what do we add to that for? Say that there's, well, let's say there's one, there are cats here, right? One, two, three, four big cats. And then we have one, two, three, four small cats. So we're adding four and four. So our total is going to be eight. And the other five group card will be dots, right? So it's four, five, six, seven, eight, that would be the other five group card that adds up to the total of eight. We have a second page for this homework, number three. There are four tall boys and five short boys. Draw to show how many boys there are in all. Have to draw. Right, so we read R. We're going to draw D, then do that next, and then we're going to write our answer. RDW, read, draw, write, all word problems. Four tall boys. Okay, so, you know, my stick people, tall boys, four tall boys. Really tall. I could label them T for tall, and write tall. And write short over here. I mean, the picture will show it, but I like to label them. And you really should get in the habit of labeling your math pictures. Short. How many short boys are there? There's five of the short boys, right? Three, four, five. So uh, this says there are how many boys in all? Four. And five, five, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Void and all. Write a number sense to show what you did. Now be careful, right? The add ends go around the, the plus sign, right? So we added four and we added five. So it's four plus five. And the total goes here, nine. And the number bond that matches the story, the total, the biggest number, goes in the biggest box. And here are our two parts that go together, our two add ends that go together to make our total. Four and five. There's a number bond. So we read it, we drew our picture, and we wrote our answers. Next, number four. There are three girls and five boys. Draw to show how many children there are all together. So that means we're going to draw three girls, five boys, and then count them all. Three girls. And I draw... So, um, we're gonna, uh, you don't have to write down the RDW, but I'm, I'm just going to put this on here. Read. We just read. We're going to draw the picture, and then we're going to write. Okay, so three girls. Three girls. I draw girls like this. You can draw them however you draw them. You can just sort of draw regular stick people for all of them. As long as you label them, I can tell which ones are the girls and which ones are the boys. That's fine. You can just draw circles and X's. You can draw whatever. As long as you label your picture G for girls, B for boys, I'll know which ones are the girls and which ones are the boys. But that, that's what the labels do for you. They just take the pressure off of you having to draw a perfect picture. So here are the boys. One, two, three. Not everybody has to draw the same pictures I draw. But if you label them, then you know what you have. So that's uh, five boys. One, two, three, five boys. Okay. Uh, how many children are there all together? I can just count my picture. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or I could start to say the five boys and then count up from five. Five, six, seven, eight. Right? So there are eight children all together. That's three girls and five boys equal eight children. Remember that plus sign. The atoms go around the plus sign, right? It's left and right. And then the total here. Sometimes the total comes first, but the equal sign's here, so the total goes last. And then the number bond that matches the story. Here's our three and our five and our eight. 